And here we are with Riolus X Series number two in season two. We are already witnessing this super amazing, good looking intro for our first map, which is gonna be a map that is gonna be, uh, yeah, a snow car map, as you can see. Snow car on Lagoon is gonna be our first map in this race. It is a map built by Turtle Shell. It is called The Snow Has Melted. So we are going with our little snow vehicle through the lagoon. We're gonna discover some roller coasters, some beaches, some tarmac, city corners, a little bit of everything that is uh, put here onto this map. And with the snow car, I think everyone is not gonna struggle too much because the snow car is a very easy vehicle to navigate through, I would say. It is a rather slow car with uh, pretty responsive steering, I would say. So I think none of the players should be like, Ooh, what is this car? It's so bad, forehead. Like, this car should actually be somewhat manageable. So this is gonna be our first map here in this race. And I am very looking forward to seeing who is gonna prevail on the snow environment here. Of course, we have a couple of players that came from United that have a lot of experience in the United vehicles. We have, for example, Marius89, who is uh, one of the favorites, of course, for maps like this, because he has played the game for such a long time. But then we also have other players that came from United that know how this car works and that can put up for a great fight. We have 92 players on the server, so the server is almost full. I think this is the highest amount of players we have ever had in the history of the XC race. And here we go with the first race. 92 players now on the track here. And we go through the first set of corners. And uh, yeah, I think the best thing that I can do right now is, this, uh, <laughs> is just to have a little bit of free camming for the first couple of corners. Because I always like the big swarm of cars uh, through the first couple of corners. I love watching this. This is so cool. So here we have all of the cars, a couple of players already taking a bath, falling off here on the wood parts, but all in all I think everyone is off to a good start, and uh, the map is of course of, uh, yeah, rather slow pace. This track doesn't really get super super fast at any point, so this map should be manageable for everyone as I said, since uh, the map I would say is one of the easier tracks that we have in the XD race. We have had a lot of uh, more difficult maps in the uh, past, so this one should definitely be manageable for most of the players. One of them uh, went... Oh my god, one actually uh, took a slightly different route here. Simply Nick now with a, a grind on the right side and also Skipper did the same thing. So a little bit of a misjudgment right there from one of the players. Uh, I think it was Minuit actually who was XDing there. Minuit took the wrong route, but I think he's still able to continue. Voyager is off to the greatest start right now, the Norwegian player who is uh, of course also one of the players that are really really familiar with the United environments and he is off to a great start here. First place, one whole second head of table who is on second place right now, Bresso and Lars and the boss very very close to each other here going through the tarmac part now. This is one of the fastest parts of the track here actually. A little bit of freewheel now, we have a 90 degree corner into a respawn. Wanna respawn as quickly as possible. And we have Bresso on table, neck and neck here, fighting for second place. Let's go down further the field with a Bragan. Bragan? <laughs> really? <laughs> I meant Dragon, God damn it! with Dragon PNTM from Portugal, who is uh, rocking seventh place right now. Looks like he is a keyboard player. Looking at the little icon that he has in his name already, he is right behind Piotrunio, who is also having a map being played later on in this race. He has mapped a lot for the XD race, which I very appreciate. Of course, this tournament is kinda living from community maps, right? I need your maps, and uh, I am of course very thankful when I receive amazing maps like this one. I think this one's gonna be one of the favorites from the players. Let's go further down. Inori going for the overtake on Detlef the Zost right here. And Inori is also closing in to Ebola Kongen from Denmark. This map, as I said, is uh, rather slow. So it is a lot about precision at the end of the day as well. The snow car is a car that is pretty momentum based. So uh, once you lose your time somewhere, it is pretty difficult to get it back. The boss now with very low speed here on the beach. Looks like he lost a little of control. So that is uh, a very unfortunate speed loss here for him. He's going to lose out on a lot of speed. As I said, this is like the perfect example. It is a very momentum-based environment. So 
Once you lose your speed, it will be quite difficult to get it back. And this is exactly what the boss is suffering here uh, a little bit. So he's down to 19th place. But uh, I think he can definitely get some positions back since we're not even halfway through the track. Sagas, keyboard player for Team CMC. One of the old school teams, one of the teams that have prevailed uh, very early on in Trackman United Forever. A team with great history and Sagas is still active in the game and he is actually closing in to both Hazard and Deadlift Dezos here for position number 10. Sagas a keyboard player, so gonna be difficult for him to get the maximum speed out of the corners, but all in all that is looking pretty good. Table has taken over the lead here in the meantime, followed by Bresso and Voyager. Voyager with a little bit of time loss now going onto the roller coaster part. So the snow car, the good thing is that it has full grip pretty much on every surface. Even on beach, the car barely slides. Or even on grass, the car barely slides. So the snow car is really a grippy beast. Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, I see Lars up front, but he's not in the list here. So maybe Lars actually missed a checkpoint. I'm not sure if he missed a checkpoint, but that would be uh, quite a setback for him. We're gonna find out about that later. Ibo versus Timania here. A very close pack of players. Kind of expected that, because uh, it is a slow map, not really the hardest one, so players are gonna be pretty close to each other. And we also see Turbo, who's doing pretty good here. Turbo up front, but I also think he missed a checkpoint because I don't see him in the checkpoint list. But he's up front, so maybe he did the same mistake like Lars. That is uh, gonna be quite an upset here for these players. Here we have Bresso, the winner of race 1 in Season 2. He has won it with a great performance in race 1. Has been very consistent and very fast on the 4 maps that we had in race 1. And uh, Bresso continues his destiny. He's 1.4 seconds ahead of table. Voyager is on 3rd. Inori has went up to 4th place. And here we see Lars, of course, very unfortunate because he is essentially missing checkpoints right now. And he doesn't realize that. So I'm not sure where that could have been. I can only assume one part where it could have happened, so that is going to be very unfortunate for him. Piotrunio on P6, followed by Tumania, Detlef, Ibo, Hazard, Laslox, Taxon, Ebola and Marius. So also Marius not with the greatest uh, start into this XD race. As I said before, he is someone that I expected to do really well when it comes to United cars, but here he seemingly struggles with either this map or with properly warming up with the snow car in the lagoon environment. Also here he touches the wall on the right side of the roller coaster magnet. So that is gonna put him down a little bit more in terms of speed. So Marius89, not with the greatest performance here so far. Bresso has in the meantime won the race. I also missed that completely. Voyager on second, Inori on third, Table on fourth, Dragon on fifth, then we have Timania, Piotrunio, and Hazard most likely taking 8th. So I should really actually put the camera on the finish line. I miss the finish entry so fucking often. I hate myself for that. What a shit streamer forehead. But yeah, here we have the top 8. And uh, yeah, we have Turbo already complaining about the missing CPs. And Lars is probably gonna complain as well at some point. Same for Skipper. Missed some checkpoints. So the only point where I could really imagine people to miss checkpoints was at a little roundabout-ish section. I'm gonna show you soon, but first of all I wanna just put some emphasis on the players that are actually finishing this race here. Everyone pretty close to each other. Not even a minute between 1st and 50th place. So that's pretty cool. Funny Mule and MDF very close to each other here. Then we have the next one, Pi Delta, JHS and Vortex. Not sure if Vortex got all the checkpoints. Here we have Sigeth. Leo, Mawam, Judizi, Seaboy, Danikos, JHS, most likely missed the checkpoint. Mage Ratchet, not sure what he's doing there. Okay, Chus, <laughs> thanks for playing. <laughs> Engine going up backwards. Butifara, let's see, is he gonna make it? Hopefully he is. Let me see, what did people write? There were two CPs I would have missed without cars on. 
Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. How do you drive the wood without bugging, bugging to Narnia? Yeah, that's interesting. Sometimes it just happens that you just bump up in the air when you drive on wood. But to me, it doesn't really happen, so I thought people would be kind of safe. But you never know with this game, really. But yeah, the section that I was talking about is this. Uh, right here. So you're coming... Where do you come from, actually? Uh, let me just quickly get some orientation myself. So you come from here. You come from the road, you drop down, you respawn, and then you go to the left. You get these two CPs, and then you go back to the left, and then continue. So this is this little roundabout sort of section, and I can imagine that people missed some CPs here. It is a little bit of a, yeah, risky section, but I thought this would be intuitive enough because the signage is, I would say, pretty easy to understand. And it looks like most of the people didn't really have problems with this, but yeah, still a couple of people that unfortunately fell into the trap here. Uh, so sorry for that, but yeah, that's just something that uh, That is always kind of inevitable, you know Whenever you have some risks into the map It can always go wrong Buffaloo? Is he gonna finish? I don't know Yeah, I thought so as well, Phobos. I thought it would be easy enough to understand on your first try Let's see if uh, Lars is going to be able to finish. Maybe he figured out which checkpoints he's missing. I sadly have no hotkey for him. Here he goes. Let's see if he's going to make it. I think he made it. Did he make it? Yeah, G fucking G he writes. At least he was able to figure out where he missed the checkpoint. <laughs> Tuxon with the NT. <laughs> BM. BM. So what are these people doing here? Hello. Who else is missing on the track? Buffaloo. Vortex. Davy. Seaboy. Skipper. Mabux. So we have a couple of deaths right here, unfortunately. A couple of deaths. But yeah, all in all, I think the map was still pretty well picked up. Right here. 24 up dudes and 4 down dudes. I think that's not too bad. So, our next map is coming in 10 seconds. So we have our scoreboard right here. With Bresso taking 85 points, Voyager with 84, Inori with 83, Table 82, Dragon, Timania, Piotrunio, Hazard, Detlef, aka Yuke, Mini, Ibo, The Boss, Marius, Lesnox, Taxon, Porky, Ebola, Dog, Hot Dog, and Shamsi. That is going to be the top 20 of map number one. Map number two is loading. As you can see, it is another Lagoon map, but it is not going to be a Lagoon car. It is going to be a different car. And this one is most likely gonna blast your computers away. It is way back by Lars. It is a map that is gonna ruin your FPS. This is gonna ruin your entire computer right here. This is a map that has 65,000 building coppers in the editor. So this is a massive, massive map right here. And uh, I hope this one's not gonna kill a lot of people. And this is why I said in the announcement that I highly recommend you to put the graphics settings down for this map. A very technical map, a very tight map with the stadium car. So we have a stadium car map on Lagoon. Highly technical. Whoever knows how to Neo slide is going to win quite a lot of time. So Neo sliding is going to be your friend on this map. Very tight map with a lot of surface changes, with a lot of pretty cool ideas, a lot of tight corners. And uh, whoever is able to squeeze himself through the map, especially in the second and third level, which for example has GP, which for example has very tight city parts right here where you need to neo slide all over the place in order to avoid all of these obstacles. Whoever manages this track the best is gonna win for sure. So even my FPS 
with my Mesa PC are going down to almost 70. So this gives you an idea of how difficult this map has been to build as well on top of that. So I hope Lars is in spectator mode. Alright, so the warm-up is ending now. I hope most of you have loaded into the map. Here we go. GLHF. This one's gonna be an interesting one. I have no idea who could take this one, to be honest. This one could go to any uh, to, to everyone, I would say. Kick Piotrunio. Where is that man? Here. Choose. Alright. So, here we go. This is one of the longer maps. Almost one of the longest maps that we have had in the history of the XT race. The overtime time 1059. And I don't think anyone is going to come even remotely close to that time here in the race. So, uh, I'm assuming that the first player will get something around 1130. Maybe a bit slower, actually. So, let's see how this one will go. Ooh, Sigith already out of the map. Taxon takes the early lead. early lead. Let's focus uh, a little bit at the top here. Dragon PNTM has been doing well on map one and going through the beach part. He manages to stay on the track and even overtakes a couple of people here on the grass part. Now, Neo slide to the left. Dragon does not make it. No Neo slide here for him. And this is what I was talking about. Whoever manages the Neo slide the best. Is going to have a really, really great chance at winning this map. Because it is so, so important to get some of those tight corners using the Neo Slide. Voyager 006 right now in the lead. Bresso on second. Once again looking to win another XZ race. Is he going to make it happen? Another second place would be really, really good for him. Especially now that Lars is pretty much out of it after his complete rip on map 1. Hazard right now on third. Also doing pretty good here. On third place, 0.8 behind the leader. Dragon on fourth. Taxon has dropped down to fifth place. Oh, someone just yeeted out. It was Turbo who went too wide here and made contact with the palm tree on the outside of the turn. That is going to put him down a little bit. Turbo losing a couple of positions, but still way too early to call anyone. To call anyone's death. Let's put it that way. So yeah, as you can see, always left, right, left, right. There's no break pretty much. There's no like straight part really on this map where you can uh, like take a break or something. It's always left, right, left, right, always drift, release, watch the corner, watch the wall. Like so many things that can uh, possibly fuck you up. And here it seems like Turbo is managing uh, to overtake a couple of people here in the tunnel. And gets up to 10th place right, right behind his temporary teammate Marius. Both of these players are uh, wrapping the Bananen Bande for the Zerator Cup, which is taking place tomorrow. So, best of luck to them. But yeah, this is not the Zerator Cup. This is, of course, a much better competition. This is the Riolos XZ race, and we are in map number two right now. Let's take a look at Vortex, who was not able to finish map number one. But here, he seems to do a little better. Through the roller coaster we go. Gets slammed into the right side here. The magnet being a little too strong. But he remains on the track on position number 9 so far. Let's go a little further back. Let's follow a couple of players that we haven't spectated so far. For example, Ender, who is uh, on position number 26. Very, very close here with a lot of people. We see Mini Marina, Hot Dog, Peterson, Table. Many, many players that are rather close by here on this map. But yeah, you can clearly see this map has so many different areas, sort of. And uh, a lot of work being made with the lighting, so you can actually see something. Since it is pretty difficult to actually uh, light up certain spots properly in Trickmania 2, with its rather questionable lighting system sometimes, when you're in really uh, closed areas. But uh, yeah, Lars did a pretty good job here. And the map should be visible enough at any point. Broccoli, Austrian player for Team Smurf. 
has also competed in the Canyon Endurance Premiership. And right now, he's actually fighting here with a lot of players. Also here, we have a massive pile of players now who are going up the roller coaster. Uh, I mean, up the quarter pipe, sorry. Oh, Broccoli does not make it, has to respawn. That is gonna hurt. And also, this one looks pretty spicy, but this time around, he actually does make it. And he is on 39th place at the previously passed checkpoint. Moving on with Shadok. Also, one of the mappers of this race. He is going to present us a coast car map later on. It's going to be our third map here. Ah, but he eats out of the track as well and has to respawn just in front of the quarter pipe. Another big time loss here for the French player. 59th place for Shadok. Almost a whole minute behind the, uh, the leader, which is still Bresso. But he actually respawns right as I spectate him. And this uh, Lars ghost, by the way, is the respawn ghost, which triggers once you respawn. Dragon PNTM is actually taking over the lead, but he also gets lost here at the Ferris wheel entry. Has to respawn just in front of it. So this is a part where I assume we will have quite a bunch of respawns. Because it is quite a non-traditional uh, transition right here. Hazard almost makes it. Oh, but not enough speed for this one. So a little bit of a trial -ish section almost. A lot of players unable to pass this. So Hazard losing out a little bit of time. Dragon remains on second, Voyager on third, but this is a massive gap already between first and third place. 11.6 seconds between those three. That is already quite a lot, uh, quite a lot for XD race standards. But to be quite honest, I am not surprised looking at the difficulty of this map. Dog on P4, followed by Taxon and Nod. So this is actually a great fight going through the first GP section of this track. So also a little GP section being uh, implemented into this track. And we have a great three-man battle here through the racetrack. Little jump going to the left, then to the right. And uh, right behind is Timania for Team Zerader. <laughs> More like for Team Pulse. So also Timania doing pretty good here. Despite not being the greatest stadium fan, he is doing very well here. P7 for the German movie maker right now. Makes a little wall touch right there on the outside. And here we have Nod now also joining the fight. So we have a four-man battle now between these players. The fight for fourth place. Very interesting to take a look at this. And also Detlef Dizost is not too far behind either. The water bounce into the roller coaster section. Detlef roughly three seconds behind the opponents in front of him. Oh, Nod has to respawn. That is going to put a big dent into his uh, lead. Nod losing out on a lot of speed. Now onto the beach part we go. And into the rocks he goes as well. Nod with the next big mistake. That is not very good. Turbo. 12th place for him. Already half a minute behind. So the gaps are huge. Table right behind. Followed by Inori and by Aibo. So the major difficulty of beach is that it's very bumpy. The speed limit is 200, so the stadium car does not go faster than 200 on uh, the beach. Which is, I guess, a good thing, because otherwise it would be even harder to navigate the car through the bumpiness of the beach part and the non-grippiness of the beach part. So the speed limit actually comes in pretty handy here. Inori, massive touch in the 90 right, and will get passed by American player Aibo, who is representing Team Smurf, Team MX, Team Way, Team FT, and Team Unbeaten. He is joining every single Trackmania team in existence. He's right now on 14th place. Let's go up to the lead again. Do we have some interesting fights? Right now, it looks like the positions are rather spread. But who is going to beat Bresso? Bresso has improved so, so much, actually. Gotta keep that in mind. He has been uh, a bit slower in the beginning of season one of Rio's XD race, and now he's just doing so so well. Yes, never mind that. Full stop into the palm tree, and that will enable Dragon to actually come dangerously close now. Dragon might potentially even go for the overtake here at the jump, and Dragon actually goes up into the lead. Very nice performance, and Presto again with a respawn. Another full stop into the IKEA palm tree right here. 
Voyager now, third place. This is the section that I was talking about earlier. Very, very close, very, very close packed here. A lot of tight corners that uh, need to be done at best using the Neo Slide. So I can see, as you can see, this is barely wider than the actual car. You are winding yourself through Lagoon City right here. Super, super amazing. Oh my god, Bresso, where are you going? Bresso is taking the staircase. And with that, he is even going to lose his second place now. Bresso from first to third after making a lot of mistakes here in the section. Will Voyager come closer to Dragon now? This is going to be the fight. We don't really have a lot of track left. One and a half minutes at most, I would say. So this is going to be the fight for first place right here. Two seconds between them. Dragon, as you can see, right up there. Voyager passes the jump. Only eight tenths of a second now. Voyager is actually closing in and maintains a lot more speed through, <laughs> the, gra uh, through the grass part now. Only seven tenths of a second. Voyager is coming closer. He wants to win it. And I don't know if he plays with cars on or not, but if he plays with cars on, that is actually going to be a pretty good help because he can see if Dragon makes a mistake in front of him and he can just not make that one, essentially. So that's a really good thing. Minuit, thank you for your reset, man. But here we have Voyager now. He is trying to go for the attack right here. After 10 minutes of driving, these two players are only 0.3 apart from each other as we have a little lag. And Voyager now struggling and he has to respawn. And that is going to be very, very good for Dragon now because Voyager is going to lose out on three whole seconds right here with that mistake. That has been maybe a bit too much risk. He tried to go as wide as possible and then he has been surprised by the next available tree. So Dragon now in the lead. Is he going to win map number two? This is going to be coming closer to the ending now. Not a lot of track left for Dragon PNTM. Is he going to win his first XD race map right here? That is something that he's for sure going to be happy about. Is this man going to take it? We're going to find out soon. Voyager trying his best to come back. But he's only losing time. Hazard is on third. Bresso is even falling down even further now. Bresso down to sixth place. He is continuously losing time right here. He is losing his composure. And Dragon wins the map with a 11 minute point 44.16. That is, uh, yeah, even slower than what I estimated to see for the winning time. So Dragon wins map number two in front of Voyager and Hazard. Deadlift Diesels right in front of the other guy. Bresso just in front. And Bresso overtakes Deadlift Diesels by only 600 of a second right at the finish line. Unbelievable overtake right at the end. And then we have Taxon and Dog following up right behind. Marius89 is taking 8th place. Then we have Vortex, Timania. And then we have Table on position number 11. Not on 12. Inori. Up next on position number 13. Or is that 14? That is 14. Simply Nick up next. And Ibo last. No, this is 12, this is 13, this is 14. I am done. I do are half stupid. So, what a great ending here to this map. So here we have the finish. Let's see how everyone's gonna finish it. Peterson! Ugh! He made it. He made it. Wow. Blackwell up next. Followed by Zolida Zehont. Zyra also playing. Once again with a new uh, name. Procoli has actually lost two. Three. <laughs> four. <laughs> no, he actually finished. Never mind. He actually finished. I thought he was stuck there and didn't finish. But I think he still lost two positions by being stuck on the left side of the building. So that's a little unlucky. But yeah, here we have uh, the next players finishing. Shamsi, Davey, Pi Delta, Ebola, Kongen. Then we have Ceres as well. Up next on position number 36. Tom and Mikey, two Polish players up next on 37 and 38. Luke on 39. Drimkin might have taken the safe finish, just like Dunster. There's a, uh, there a safe fin. Denso finishes here as well. Big Bang, 1112. And Sigeth. Cucumber, 
Chris. I think he got the red time though. Stunnerman is playing. Finishes right here. Just in front of Shadok. Aona. Porky. Dunster. Looks like he actually missed the checkpoint. But yeah, this is like... For the people that are going to time attack this, you got to keep in mind that the XD race is spread into this race. What you see right now. And time attacking. So you guys will be able to hunt these maps that you see right now. And uh, fight for the fastest time and get extra points for the season ranking. Um, so seeing a good run on this map is going to be super satisfying. So good luck to everyone who is uh, going to hunt this map. This is going to be really, really difficult. This is going to be really, really difficult. But yeah, let's take a look at the map once again. This is a real, real masterpiece. So much work being put into this. And uh, yeah... The FPS are <laughs> speaking for that fact, I guess. Alright. So, that is gonna... Turn the whole scoreboard around here a little bit. That is for certain. Since we have uh, quite a bunch of people that uh, haven't gotten a lot of points on this map. Or that got a lot of points, but not a lot of points uh, not, not a lot of points on the previous map. So that's gonna be interesting. And a lot of players still left on the track. Not sure how many of them have missed the checkpoint and how many of them are still uh, trying to finish. Here we see Panimiul. Is Panimiul gonna finish? I think he made it. Apart from that, we still have Tofo, we have Seaboy, we have Race Katze, RDG Spinner, Mabax, Chris, Asteri, Porky, Engine, Meister, Blackwell. A lot of people that might have gotten red times or missed the checkpoints. But yeah, this is going to conclude map number two of this race. I knew it's going to be a little bit of a controversial map because it is very difficult and maybe a bit blind as well. But uh, all in all, I think this map has been quite a nice journey for most of the players. Map number three. Breaks. This is going to be our motto for this track. This game has breaks. This is the map by Shadok, and this is gonna be the map that uses the one and only drum roll. Coast car! Wee 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 wee! Coast car, boys! We have the coast car right here on Valley, the map by Shadok. It is a really, really cool map, to be honest. I really like this one. And even if you hate the coast car, you will still like the map. So this is going to be our third map with the score being as follows. Voyager 006 with 158 points, Bresso with 157, Dragon with 156, Hazard with 151, Detlef D. Zost with 148, Table 147, Inori 146, Timania as well, Taxon 141 and also Marius 89 with 141 points. So my money goes on Marius. If Marius doesn't win this map, I am gonna be mad. Because Marius is a disgustingly good coast driver. So, I am putting my money on him. Let's see if he's gonna be able to uh, live up my expectations. But yeah, coast car. What do I have to say? The coast car is being regarded as the meme car because it is slow, it is drifty, it drives like a soapbox, and many people think that it's ass. However, I think there's quite some value in the Coast Car because it really rewards racing line, it really rewards being precise, it really rewards knowing what the fuck you're doing with the car, and uh, this map rewards exactly these aspects. It is a simple map, you won't find crazy transitions, you won't find difficult corners. This map is actually easy, so this one is hopefully gonna allow for a lot, a lot of good racing. So, for those that are playing right now, and that are listening to the cast, drive slow, for fuck's sake. 
Drive slow. Don't full speed anything or you die. Here we go. Map number three out of four in race two of the XT race. Also, Voyager is going to be someone who could potentially even seal the deal in this XZ race if he gets a good position on the coast car map. Because also, Voyager is an amazing coast driver and he shows that already in the first three corners. Oh my fucking god. I have been waiting for this moment. I have been waiting for this moment. This is the Trackmania 2 snail race right here. This is the snail race environment. I'm fucking loving it. So we have an S turn in the tunnel, and here we have the snails coming out. <laughs> so good. This is proper racing, ladies and gentlemen. This is racing at its best. Everyone sliding, drifting all over the place. The tire is being burnt right here. The tires are gonna be burnt. And uh, yeah, as expected, Voyager and Marius are leading the field over Piotrunio and Tumania right now. And also Turbo might have a good chance here because he is also coming from United. But here on the sand, he is struggling a little bit. The sand doesn't give you any sort of grip, so you need to be going very slow into the sand sections. But other than that, any sort of road, any sort of cobblestone does have full grip and someone just fell off the castle. F, this is not Game of Thrones. You need to stay on the castle. Oh, here is where players have to go slow. There has been a slow sign and Turbo has been able to save himself with a bug slide. What a player. Let's take, a look at, uh, let's take a look at Lars, who is someone that is not very familiar with the United cars. And he has been stating his disappointment about the fact that the United cars are going to be viable in the second season. So, uh, yeah, Lars... Right now, only on uh, 21st place here, according to the previous lead pass checkpoint. And also up the hill, he doesn't really get the greatest speed. He is going to get overtaken by a bunch of other people as well, on top of that. But fuck, I'm loving this. Coast car is so cool. <laughs> I'm loving it. Skrrt! Everywhere. Skrrt! Screech! Eh! Eww! So good. <laughs> so good. Let's take a look at Danik B. He is on P12 right now. Does pretty well. He is also coming from United, so he also knows what he's doing. He should know how to handle this little beast. Oh, very risky downhill. Is he gonna make contact with the outside? We see Bresso. Bresso completely effed right here. Right in front of the castle uphill. Uh, uh, the bridge uphill or whatever the fuck you want to call this. Bresso being pushed down to 27th place. This could be the GG already. This could be the GG already because Voyager is in the lead. So if Bresso stays on this terrible position, he can say goodbye to the victory in race number two of Riolo's XD race. Voyager still in the lead. Marius 89, multiple seconds behind, five seconds already by Voyager. That lead that he already gained over Marius, this is insanely fast. Great performance here by Voyager. Let's take a look here at the next castle section as he's approaching it. Takes it easy. And this is exactly how you want to do it. Voyager has been uh, really well at learning maps on the fly. And he is showing this. He is showing this very, very well. If he continues at this pace, this would be so much of a deserved victory. Marius 89 now going through the chicane. The gap should be roughly 5.5 seconds. Piotrunia right behind and also Mini Marina. I didn't expect Mini Marina to do so well here in this race. <laughs> the audience took a while to uh, appreciate this. Here we have Lasnox. Lasnox not sliding. Besaker is sliding. And here we have a couple of these cool S-turn uh, blocks made by effect that are available to download on maniapark.com that you can implement into your maps and uh, yeah pretty cool stuff here definitely 
some nice variety here on the map. Lasnox on P15. Let's take a look at some of the other drivers. For example, Taxon. He is ninth in the total race and sixth right here. So right now, a pretty good performance for big man Taxon as we go over the dam part of the track. Can actually quickly have a look here with the free camera. So we have a little dam that is uh, implemented into the map, which is the part that the players are crossing as we speak. Pretty cool to implement this. Also a custom object that you can download. This is not a vanilla block. This is pretty damn sexy if you ask me. Damn, damn. Damn son. Very, very cool. All right, let's go back into the race though. Voyager is now coming closer to the six minute mark. And this is looking like a victory for him. He's coming closer to the finish line already. The other time is 7 minute 11, but uh, Shadok drove backwards, so yes. So Voyager about to win this map. Only a couple of corners left here for him. He only needs to complete this final castle section, and then he is gonna win this race. And with that, he might even seal the deal. Bresso has moved up the scoreboard again, but I don't know if that point gap is gonna be, uh, yeah, possible to catch up for him on the last map, which is going to be the one by Pietrunio. Final straight for Voyager, and the Norwegian player wins map number three with an absolutely bonkers of a run right here. Great, great run here by Voyager, no faults whatsoever. GG. Next up, Marius89 taking second in front of Pietrunio, Timania, Inori, live. Danik B on sixth, Mini Marina on seventh, Taxon on eighth, Vortex on ninth, then we have Bresso, Table, Dog, and Dragon, and Turbo, and Hazard, and Maxi, and Nobivo, and Ivo, and Zyra, and Lazlox, Lars, Ceres. A lot of people actually very close here, surprisingly. Considering that a lot of players uh, are kind of memeing about the Coast Car. Oh, this was close. Jesus Christ. But yeah, considering that a lot of players say that they can't handle the Coast Car, this is actually Nick! <laughs> Nick! He threw two positions with his freaking buck slide at the end. Ah, really? Really, Nick? Was that necessary? Oh, man. <laughs> Broccoli, Judizi, Panimiul. Leo, Tom, Victor, Wuffly, Morphio, Danicus. Hey, I think this ended up not being too shabby of a track. MDF up next. And here we have React and Tofo and Dofi. Dofi finishing here as well. GG. Morodin up next, followed by Asteri and Race Katze. Asteri finishes up right here. Race Katze as well. Butifara up next. And uh, yeah, by the looks of it, not really a lot of players left on the track. We have Arcady Besaker, I think, uh, yeah, he DC'd. Vroom. We have uh, Arcady, who is uh, at the start of the track. Did he just join the server by any chance? I didn't, uh, didn't pay attention to that. But he's definitely not going to be finished, unfortunately. Definitely not going to be finishing. Here we have Trilk248 and Mabax. But Mabax is always memeing. He never finishes. But yeah, I think uh, I think uh, this map has been a very good success. Despite the map being Coast Car, and as I said, Coast Car is something that people always meme about. I think people enjoyed it. And I, I also really enjoyed uh, playing this one. So shout out to Shadok for building a really, really <laughs> cool map. Damn, already six months here, Riolu hug. Madness Fana, thank you for the six month resub, man. Welcome in. But yeah, Bresso has only gotten 73 points, so he is gonna be uh, quite some points behind. He is, for example, uh, gonna be overtaken by no one, actually, almost. Is he gonna be overtaken by anyone? 
actually he might even stay on second place, which is good for him, considering that he was actually pushed down to like 20th plus. He got away pretty nicely. Can he like... Finish? Yeah, they're nowhere close to Lars' map. The size of this map is nothing compared to what we had uh, on map 2. Like, map 2 has really been pushing the game to the limit almost. Yeah, yeah, as I said, BCP, Mabax is always memeing like this. Alright, so the last player left on the track is going to be Arcady. But he's not going to be able to finish, sadly. But let's take a look at his driving. As he is doing some deja vu drifts around the bends here. Nice. <laughs> okay, so hopefully uh, the next map will load immediately without me having to adjust the script again and everything. That would make me angry. The next map will be Generoc. Yeah, it's working. Alright. Should be working. Yes, it works. Last map of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. XD race number two of season two. The final map made by Piotrunio Generoc. Lagoon car on Lagoon. But there's a twist. Wait, this is Valley. How did he do this? Wow. So we have a Lagoon map with Lagoon Car, but we're surrounded in the valley. So this is another interesting thing that I thought would be quite cool for the XD race, just because we can. And this is gonna be our final map right here in this race, another rather short map with uh, 6 minutes and 25 seconds of a uh, time limit. Uh, author time, sorry, author time, not time limit, author time. So a uh, little bit of a shorter one, and I think here, I think Bresso is going to have quite a good chance at winning this one. He is a Lagoon expert, but gaining 10 points on Voyager on the final map, that is going to be pretty difficult. Voyager looking to take it home. He almost got it in the backpack. He just needs to save it here, pretty much. 238 points. He's 10 points out of second place, which belongs to Bresto with 228 points. Dragon, 225. Timania, 223. Inorion, position number 5 with 222. Marius with 220. Table, 217. Tied with Hazard. The two Danish players right now sharing the points for 7th place. Taxon on P9 with 214. And Mini Marina with 209 on position number 10. Then we have Dog, Piotrunio, Ibo, Detlef, Lasnox, Zyra... Danik B, Hot Dog, Cinemini, and Peterson sealing off the top 20. And after the warm up, we are gonna be going live. This is uh, a pretty fast paced Lagoon track, so you really wanna make sure not to die. But all in all, definitely not the most difficult one either. So here we go with Generoc, final map of this race GLHF. Following Voyager through the first couple of corners, he is of course the man that should ur urgently avoid dying completely because that could ruin his potential victory in this race. In the lead we have uh, the, usual <laughs> the usual people, we have Ender also doing pretty well here, Ender also someone that has been specializing on Lagoon for quite some time. So he could be up for a surprise as well. Dragon PNTM to Mania. And Ender just yeeted himself out of the track. Amazing performance here by him. So he is already out. Uh, but maybe he can uh, pull a comeback. Let's see. Let's take a look at Marius. Only a... Uh, sixth place for him. 
but maybe he can make up some points here on the lagoon track with however lagoon is not his best environment as he says himself so his confidence level for lagoon maybe not the highest but i'm pretty sure he can still make something happen especially now with multiple people making a mistake on the grass section And uh, now going through a U-turn, zoop! And I think I was, uh... Never mind. Ay, 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 Marius with the worst possible crash on the freewheel, right in front of the checkpoint, spun 180 and has to respawn. That is something that he's probably gonna cry about for the next three weeks. Marius with a big mistake right here, and now we are going onto the GP section. And we are leaving it already. Let's take a look at some of the other drivers. Simply Nick. So a little bit of a uh, F1 GP sort of section. Pretty cool to drive. Not really too difficult. As long as you stay away from uh, the curbs and from the grass. You should be fine. Effect right now also playing here. Not the greatest start for him. Unfortunately. 62nd place only for the Belgian player. Let's take a look at Turbo, who is right behind Marius once again. Going into the roller coaster. And zoop it down. And here you see the sign. Respawn. Sack. And continue the race. Who else do we have that I did not spectate? Tom. Coming up this section here himself. Sack. And he continues as well. 46th place right now for the German. And here we have a little beach section. Beach, of course, always being something that people complain about when uh, they play Lagoon. Because it's beach. Beach is too difficult, it's too bumpy. <laughs> yeah, you know, that, ki uh, that kind of argument. Oh, Tom! Almost taking a bath right there. But he survives. Shadok also survives. The genius coast car mapper. <laughs> on 36th place right now and in the lead right now we have Bresso kind of as expected and Voyager right now finding himself on P7 so this would be enough for Voyager to win the race since the point difference is 10 so essentially the position difference between those two can be 10 at max on the final map so Bresso in the lead Lars on second this really wasn't his race after the first map went down the toilet he lost every single chance of winning. So, uh, unfortunately, not the greatest result here for Lars in this XD race. But uh, nothing's lost yet. Timania on third. He is also someone that likes Lagoon a lot. And he shows that. 1.8 seconds behind the leader right now. Doing pretty good. Hazard now with the overtake on Dragon PNTM. And also Taxon. The big man. Do we have a respawn? Which is actually a little bit of a teleport. We can actually uh, quickly have a look here with the free camera. So you do respawn. Here's the checkpoint. But the respawn is here. So here's where the people pop up. You will see right here. Boop, 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 boop. So here's where the people uh, pop up after the respawn. So this one has an altered respawn point. Pretty cool. Meat Ratchet, a player that I haven't seen in a while, but his performance right now, definitely more than solid. 11th place for him. I mainly uh, know him as a Valley player, but uh, pretty good performance here by him so far. 10th place, has moved up one position right behind Matt. So uh, also Matt participating in the XD Rage, uh, XD Rage, XD Race, which is great. The new XD Rage, please play. We only play Coast Car. <laughs> the new XD Rage. So uh, Matt with a good performance here. Oh, yes. He, he touched. Every time I praise someone, he makes a mistake. I should stop this. Going to the right and boop, another respawn. So this map has quite a lot of respawns. As you might be able to tell. And Lars has actually taken over the lead over Bresso. And Bresso has actually fallen down multiple positions. He's down to fourth place. And Voyager still stays here. So this is even better now. Respawn again. Boop. 
And Lars is going into the final roller coaster section now. Is he gonna win the final map? This would be at least some sort of compensation for all the bullshit that happened to him on map number one. He is coming closer to the finish line. And uh, with that, he's at least gonna get some valuable points and move up in the scoreboard. Lars wins the final map with a 6 minute 9 in front of Timania, Dragon PMTM, Bresso, Hazard, Voyager 006, Taxon, and Marius 89. Follow up positions we have uh, Mishratchit, Chris, Matt, Inori, Mini, Ender, Dog. Uh, Hot Dog, Ceres, Morthio, Skeffen, Waldfee, Stanemann, Broccoli, Ebola Kongen, Peterson, Lesnox, Turbo, Arcus, Big Bang, and so on and so forth. Everyone now coming towards the finish line here. And uh, yeah, looks like the players didn't really have too much trouble with this one. As I said, this one still at the end of the day was one of the easier Lagoon tracks that we have had in the XD race so far. So I don't think there were any sections that were unfair or not manageable. All in all, this map, pretty good. Boop. So all the players here now yoinking themselves out of the track right here. Here we have Zyra. No, oh, Zyra didn't get all of the checkpoints. Phobos finishes together with Maga. Here we have Asteri and Zyra still didn't finish. Asteri also missed the checkpoint apparently. Yeet! Cucumber! Truce? Alright. So, who else do we have left on the track? Race Katza, RDG Spinner, Trilk. Uh, Pi Delta. Seaboy, Meister, Tofo, Butifara. I think I got all? Did I get all? I think so. But yeah, as I said before, these maps are gonna be played in the time attacking session of the XD race. So until the next XD race is gonna be played, which is most likely gonna be in two weeks, the Friday in two weeks, most likely gonna have the third race in the second season. So up until then, you guys will have the chance to uh, hunt the maps and get more extra points for the season standing and move up in the scoreboard even further. So make sure to hunt the maps and submit your replays to Mania Exchange once the maps have been uploaded by the authors. These four maps are looking to get hunted by you. Alright, the remaining players probably uh, missed checkpoints. So yeah, I think that's gonna conclude it here, boys. Looks like we have a winner. It looks like it is gonna be Voyager 006 who wins Riolo XD Race number 2 in front of Bresso and Dragon PNTM. Timania taking 4th. Inori will actually get overtaken by Marius, so Marius will go up to fifth place, tie with Hazard by the looks of it. So Marius and Hazard will tie with uh, 284 points each, meaning that Inori will drop down to seventh place. Table will lose out on a lot of positions because he left. He's not gonna get any points. Taxon essentially moves up a place together with Mini and the remaining players. So GG everyone for playing. Thank you for participating. And the results are gonna be published soon, as soon as the map is over, as soon as the players either retire or manage to finish somehow. Come on, Zyra, show us some stunts. Oh, is that gonna be a water bounce? No, loser. Come on, Topol. Show me something. Zyra, yes! Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, two out of ten, at most. This was not very exciting. Oh. 
But yeah, gotta point out that the Lagoon OST is actually really fucking good, by the way. Just, uh, you know? <laughs> Just need to point that out. That's the only good thing about Lagoon, pretty much. The soundtrack. Apart from that, everything else is bad. <laughs> anyway, three, two, one, and... Here we are with the results of Reels XD Race number four. Voyager wins with 288 points. Bressel 280, Dragon 278, Timania 277, Hazard 268, together with Marius, Inori 266, Taxon 263, Mini 251, and Dog with 245 points. And uh, the complete results are going to be published very soon. Thank you everyone for playing. GG, hope you enjoyed, and see you in two weeks for the next race.